Hi, my name is Camilla and today I would like to show you how I make my hand tufted rugs. I started tufting quite recently. I bought a whole kit from someone on eBay. It contained everything you needed to start. So um, I got tufting gun, I got this frame, I got primary backing fabric, a bundle of yarns, well, everything. So I would like to share with you today how I make my rugs and also give you some tips. So if you'd like to start tufting yourself, um, you might avoid some things that make tufting really, really annoying. Right, so first what we need, we need a tufting gun. And before I start tufting, because um, I used it already a couple of times, there's lots of fluff and lint around. So I have just an ordinary kid's paintbrush and I just brush the fluff away. Yeah, it's all rubbish left. Okay, you need a tufting gun, then you need a frame. Uh, as I mentioned, I got this as a bundle, but I think if you are good at DIY and you have space at your home, you might be able to make your own tufting frame. Just check uh, online what they look like. And next, you need the backing fabric. Well, I purchased uh, this Hessian fabric. Uh, this is my first uh, rug that I, I tried tufting on this. I'm quite happy with that. So the good thing about Hessian is uh, it's very affordable and it's widely available. So I suggest that's a, that's a great fabric to start with. Next, you will need yarn. I just use an ordinary yarn you can get from any haberdashery or hobby shop. It's okay to use it as a ball, but um, I've seen some people take the yarn from the inside and pull it. Uh, I definitely don't recommend winding it uh, from the outside because what happens is uh, when the yarn pulls all the ball gets tumbled and uh, the yarn gets um, a bit stuck. So once it gets stuck it gets pulled from the tufting gun and you have a problem you have to re-thread it and it's really really annoying. So you can take it from the inside but my experience is uh, once you use it towards the end of the ball it gets really really tangled and it gets on my nerves having to spend half an hour untangling the yarn uh, while my tufting is waiting for me so i strongly suggest getting this yarn winding machine thingamabob and thanks to this you go from this kind of ball to this kind of ball and it makes such a difference it's nowhere near to this kind of mess so what I've done here I just built myself this little stand which are just two sticks um, put in a plank of wood easy thing uh, so that my wool is nice and organized So now we need to thread the tufting gun. So what you do is take your thread, your yarn. Um, I've got this little thingamajig. Uh, I got it as part of my punch needle kit. But it's essentially just a very thin wire stuck together. So it's very easy to make it yourself. What you want to do is you thread this through the tip of the gun. Make sure the gun is switched off and possibly even uh, uh, unplugged because this stuff can be evil. If you accidentally hit the start button, your fingers will get chopped. Right, so this is what we have. Now you just um, thread the wool through here. 
there's a good pull it through the hoop and pull the whole thing out and I think we are ready to start tufting So another tip, uh, before you start working with your tufting gun, before you start working on any design, just get the hang of it, get the, the feeling, start doing uh, some straight lines before you move on to more difficult curved lines. Um, just get a control of the gun. Uh, one really important thing is, is what we need to do is to press the gun against the fabric and keep that pressure while we tuft because uh, what we don't want to happen is if you have a fabric here and the gun goes through here if you don't maintain that pressure and the gun pulls away from the fabric there are scissors over here that come out and snip um, the, the, the yarn we don't want the scissors to snap, start snipping the fabric uh, which will be really frustrating so press the gun against the fabric and keep that pressure Next thing is, if you start working with your designs, if you have something abstract, it doesn't really matter. But once you start working with uh, letters, especially, a uh, really, really, really important thing is to flip your design because, before you sketch it. Because we are working from the back of the frame. So if we don't flip the design, uh, then we'll see just the mirror image from the front. So really, really important thing, flip your designs to avoid frustration. So I'm just going to carry on filling in the whole design and the next time I can show you how I put the glue, what kind of fabric I use for the backing and how to finish up off the carpet. So until next time, bye! <laughs>